Hello. Uh, thank you very much for being very patient um, and waiting for me to upload videos all summer long. I was off traveling in very cool places and now I'm back and I'm going to start making videos again. Uh, I'm going to start off with molybdenum. Uh, I shot this footage actually before the summer but I didn't have a chance to edit and film this bit before the summer started. So, um, of course, before I actually show you the experiments, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about molybdenum. I think molybdenum is a very, very cool element, as I guess I think all the elements are cool, but I think it's particularly cool because it is a second row transition metal, and yet it is found in over 50 enzymes in living creatures. And this is amazing because very, very few second row transition metals are found in living creatures at all and many of them are even toxic to living creatures. One cool, particularly cool application of molybdenum um, in biology is in an enzyme that helps to cleave the nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond that is, president, that is present in dinitrogen in the atmosphere. This allows for plants to take uh, this relatively uh, inert, or rather almost inert, um, diatomic gas and convert it into much more re reactive, um, essentially natural fertilizers, oxidizers, and, um, and, and compounds full of chemical energy. So, um, in, in a sense, it's like a natural Haber process. Um, molybdenum is also used very widely in industry um, in order to uh, make better steels. It's alloyed with steel a lot of times. And it's also used in many artificial catalysts, in addition to the natural um, catalysts that, that, um, that it is found in. Um, I'm not going to bore you anymore with discussing molybdenum. I'm going to now describe, in short, what I'm going to do with molybdenum. I'm going to do two experiments. One, in one, I take ammonium molybdate, which, as you might expect, features molybdenum in the 6 plus oxidation state. Of course, it's, a, it's a complex, so it's hard to say exactly the oxidation, but about plus 6. Then I'm going to bubble sulfur dioxide gas, a reducer, through the solution of ammonium molybdate, reducing the molybdenum 6 plus down to molybdenum 4 plus or 5 plus, and making molybdenum blues. Now I'm not going to continue because I or I would repeat myself. I repeat myself anyway in the um, experiment. The next experiment involves taking ammon the ammonium molybdate starter and um, just forming a complex with hydrogen peroxide. In neutral solution, this is fairly straightforward, and you see a nice slight color change. However, when I add sodium hydroxide and make the solution alkaline, a very cool surprise happens. And I almost forgot, I always try to show you uh, a, a sample of the pure element in all my videos. So here is a sample of, nio of I, excuse me, wrong element, of molybdenum, not niobium, molybdenum. Now the metal itself looks quite boring, it's just a little cylinder I have here, um, and it looks like most of the other transition metals. But in solution, it can do some very cool things. To begin my experimentation of uh, molybdenum blues, I got an oversaturated solution of ammonium molybdate. You can see that some of it is still undissolved. To get a saturated solution, I added a little bit of excess water and dissolved the undissolved component. Then I needed to reduce the molybdenum, and so what I chose to do is to get some sodium sulfite, that's the white powder in the upper right hand test tube, and react that with, with hydrochloric acid. This would generate sulfur dioxide gas, a reducing gas. I bubbled the gas through the solution of ammonium molybdate, and as you can see, there is a color change occurring. What's happening is the molybdenum 6 from the molybdate is being reduced to between a 4 oxidate, four plus oxidation state and a 5 plus oxidation state, or a combination thereof, and it's forming very, very, very large complexes with hundreds of molybdenum atoms of molybdenum and oxygen, um, and they're huge anions 
uh, with hundreds of molybdenum atom atoms and hundreds of oxygen atoms. And I don't know the exact formulas of the, co of the complexes that I'm making, but I can tell you they have lots of molybdenum and oxygen, and they're kind of a bluish green. So those are mol molybdenum blues, and they're not very well characterized. Now I'm going to experiment with some different uh, molybdenum uh, peroxide complexes at different pHs. Here is some ammonium molybdate. It's a neutral solution, and now I'm adding some hydrogen peroxide. Since molybdenum is in the highest oxidation state that it can easily get to, and hydrogen peroxide is fairly oxidizing in neutral solution, I figure that there's no oxidation or reduction going on at this point. It, the molybdenum is simply forming a complex with the peroxide ligands. And as you can see, it's a very nice yellow color. Other experimenters have um, posted online that they've gotten similar results. Now I add a drop of saturated sodium hydroxide solution. And there's a bright red layer that forms at the top of the liquid, followed by a column of bubbles. The layer moves its way down the test tube. Here's my explanation for this. The sudden alkalinity brought about by the addition of hydroxide converts the excess peroxide present in solution from an oxidizer, which can't do anything in this, to the molybdenum, to a reducer. Now, molybdenum can easily be reduced in, from the 6 plus oxidation state in, in, with, um, in aqueous solution. Therefore, the peroxide reduces the molybdenum 6 to molybdenum 5 or molybdenum 4. Excess peroxide ligands then complex with that um, molybdenum 5 or 4, forming a bright red complex. However, as the hydroxide layer moves down to more and more molybdenum, the peroxide is exhausted in the process of reducing the molybdenum because the peroxide is converted to water and oxygen gas, which are the bubbles you see. Therefore, this complex is very short-lived. And as you can see, the layer gets duller and thinner as, you, as it moves down the test tube, I'm presuming because of lack of peroxide or lack of, of hydroxide.